Growing takes time. Ranch Systems has the tools to help you quickly get the information you need so you can get on with your day. Check your water, crop status, and weather from real sensors in your field. To learn more, contact us today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm of the American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from the annual Tree and Vine Expo here at the Stanislaw County Fairgrounds. Grateful to have Carl Lund, one of our speakers with us here today, talk about freedom rootstock and some challenges that we have with that, particularly with regard to sudden grapevine collapse. It's a disease complex that's complex, right? <laughs> You know, and, and freedom rootstock just doesn't seem to be doing doing too well with that. Can you tell us about it? Uh, yeah, so um, I actually have this fun table uh, that comes from the California Wine Grape Variety book put out by the UC uh, A&R system. Um, back, the table's actually from back in the 90s uh, from when we were replacing the AXR rootstock. And one of those things with AXR is AXR is actually very tolerant to latent viruses. So you can have all sorts of viruses in your scion grafted onto AXR, and it doesn't care. It just grows right through it. The problem with Freedom and several other rootstocks, but specifically Freedom in this case, is that it is sensitive to those viruses. So during the grafting process, what we found back in the late 80s and early 90s was that when you graft a virus positive plant on top of Freedom, it won't set up that graft union. Now what's happening fast forwarding 20 years, is that we're getting the plants to graft because we're grafting a virus negative plant on top of Freedom, but then they're getting out into the field and in the field, they're getting infected with viruses. Now it is complex. We know that grapevine leaf roll virus is part of the problem. So that's the big one, but there's also a, you need a second virus, a vidi virus, vidi meaning vitus, so it is one of those things where there's an A through H list right. of viruses. So this is where it starts getting complex and that you have to have the leaf roll on top of the second virus. And then you need some sort of added environmental stressor. So you end up needing, well, four things. You need the leaf roll. You need that second virus. And some summer heat. <laughs> some summer heat. And then you need a sensitive rootstock. Right. And what's turned out to be the most sensitive rootstock has been freedom so far. So right now what we're looking at is the possibility that we're going to be losing freedom as a rootstock uh, for use within the San Joaquin Valley and overall throughout California. So if we lose this rootstock, you know, what do we do? Because when you start looking at rootstocks, you know, one of the main um, things rootstocks do other than their pest control issues with soil pests is they control how much vigor your plant has. So, you know, we have very high vigor plants like Dog Ridge and Ramsey or Salt Creek. Ramsey and Salt Creek are actually the same rootstock, just different names. So those are sort of our very high vigor. And then we have sort of, you know, moderately high vigor plants like 1103 Paulson and 110R. But then we have the high vigor class, which was freedom and harmony. Well, we lost harmony uh, 10, 15 years ago now, and now we're losing freedom. So we're losing that high vigor area. So growers now kind of have to look at going, well, do I jump up to the very high vigor class, which has some of their own issues with that much vigor, or do I stay in the moderately high vigor group with 1103 or something like 110R? Or are there other options that we can give them to sort of get above 1103 if you want bigger yields, but not have to jump all the way up to Ramsey and Dog Ridge? So we do have some options, right? Uh, so what I've actually been working on for the last five years has been um, some uh, rootstocks that are nematode resistant. Now, these trials are set up because these rootstocks are, have higher nematode resistance, but as it turns out, they also have a variety of vigor levels. So the rootstocks that are most important in this because they're all at or above 1103 Paulson are GRN2, GRN3, and GRN4. Now all three of those new rootstocks are at or above the 1103 level. Now GRN2 and 3 both have the, most, uh, the biggest yields of the group. Now they're not quite to the level of freedom, so you're not gonna be able to replace that freedom yield, but they're closer, much closer than 1103 Paulson. So you will get higher yields. Now, uh, GRN2 can have super high yields, but sometimes it doesn't. 
So what happens is actually something that has been known about with Dog Ridge, which is our very high yield one, is that sometimes the plant can go over vigorous and that yield drops down. So I actually have GRN2 in two different trials. One of the trials, it's second highest yield only behind Freedom and it's very close to Freedom. The other one, it's almost at the bottom. Um, and it is, but in both cases, they have that good canopy. So GRN2, if you have that right situation, that right growing situation, GRN2 can almost get you to freedom and will definitely outperform 11 of 3. But GRN3 is just another step behind GRN2, but GRN3 has consistently good yields. Much better than 1103, so you're gonna maybe not make it back up to that freedom level, but you're you're a step above 1103 Paulson. So you can replace most of that yield. Uh, GRN4 is actually another step down. It is just above 1103, so it's not gonna get you most of the way to freedom. It's just gonna be a little bit better than 1103 Paulson, but doesn't have any issues. It's always consistent with yields. It has decent to good uh, water uptake, so it keeps that water stress in the moderate category. So it, it's kind of that middle ground of it's just a little better than 1103 Paulson, but you get more nematode resistance with it. So it is a good root stock to look into if you're looking for just a little more than 1103 Paulson, but you don't need that big step up that you would get with Freedom. Well, thank you for you know investigating these things and your continued work on that. I, I the good the good news is is that even without freedom, we still have options, right? And so, <laughs> yes. so it really depends on the area, what your, what your stresses are, uh, but we, we appreciate what you're doing. Read more about these things in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.